Coming up on DJT Reviews, we're going to unbox and review the Shark Pro Steam Mop. So stay tuned for the review. Today we're going to unbox the Shark Pro Steam Pocket Mop. This is the Pro Edition of this Steam Mop. Right here, looking straight at the front of the box. Pretty long box. It's not that heavy, but it's a pretty long box. As you can see this color, it's like a navy blue almost. According to the box, it has, the Pro has two levels of steam, a low and a high. Right here, some of the other features. 22 foot power cord, extra large water capacity, and two washable pocket pads right there. Okay, it's the front of the box. Right there. As we review, here's the side of the box. Just another picture, giving you a little bit more detail. It's two-sided, right there, and that's that washable pad. So we flip it over to the back. Pretty much the same thing. Here's the UPC. So you guys can see the model number. I know Target also has a Pro edition of theirs. It's actually like a silver color. So it is a standard version that's a little cheaper. I think it's maybe uh, white and turquoise, but the Pro editions have just a few more features like the extra large water capacity and the uh, extra pads. All right, so here's one more side of the box for you guys. Just another picture showing you other versatile things you can do. Right there. So according to the box, it's good for laminate, bamboo, and hardwood floors. Hardwood, again, for dusting, marble, and tile. All right, so let's go ahead and stand this up and unbox the contents. Okay, so as we stand the box up, Again, they're telling you what's included. I wanna share with you guys just to make sure if you get this particular model, this is what's in included because not all of them come with the same stuff. Right, it includes a Shark Pro Steam Pocket mop body and head, Shark Pro Steam Pocket handle with two washable dirt grip pads and a fill flask. Okay, all right, so you open it up. Here's the installation instructions. Quick start assembly guide right here. A, mop handle. B, steam mop body. C, steam mop head. And D is the actual washable dirt grip pads. Right here, they're telling you. So we'll go ahead and get to that in a moment, but let's go ahead and finish unboxing. If you need help, here's the customer service or any questions or problems. All right, so straight out the bat, here's the owner's guide. Make sure you read it. They give you the model number. It's the SE450 and SE460 models. Instruction guide. Open it up. Just pretty much giving you the safety instructions. Remember, always read the instructions for household use only. Reduce the fire, keep steam mop away from children, polarized plug. Your steam mop is designed to clean hardwood floors that will stand high heat. Do not use on unsealed wood or unglazed ceramic because this will obviously ruin the wood because it's using water and it could crack the ceramic. So definitely check your floors before you use this. And just notes and stuff right here the back and again they're showing you what's actually included all right put that to the side right there all right so here is your two grip steam pads that go on top it's double-sided as they say it's pretty thick quality definitely seems like you can absorb a good scrub on the floor one 
And here is the second one. Two. So far, two in the box, as they stated. All right. Here they are. Water filler. I use this to put water in this so you can fill up the actual uh, water reservoir for the steam. All right. Put that down. All right. It looks like it's the mop head right here. This is where the steam pads go on top of this. And it's have the swivel motion as you can see. And you can flip it either side so that's pretty cool. Left, right, swivels so you can get under hard to reach places. All right, so then you have the two pads water fill flask and the head all right all right take that out so what it is this in the box so we'll go ahead and take the handle out since it's right here it's like a screw that goes on there according to the instructions we saw on the top right there Here's the handle. And it goes in the body of number B. Okay. Sit that down. All right, so this has got to be the body of the mop because I see the cord down there. Okay guys, so I was able to unbox the middle portion, the, the body of the steam mop kind of stuck, so I was able to get it out. So we have all the pieces included in the box. So we go ahead and open it up. Here's the body of the box. Here's the power cord. Seems like a pretty long cord. Go ahead. Stand this up. All right, right there. All sealed in the plastic, still looks new to me. Go ahead and pull this out. Make sure all cord is right there so we can get it out and lay it down so we can take a look at it. Okay, so we laid it down. Here's the protective plastic to keep it from moving around and scratching in the box. Right here. We take it out. First hand look at it. Here's the feature steam control. You have a dust mode and you have a mop mode. So on the professional shark logo. Here's the bottom. Here's the adjustments where you can turn it to adjust the settings. Here is the water reservoir, as you can see. Take that out. And here's some information on the back with the model number. And we go ahead and lay it down. And this is everything that's in the box for you guys. The handle, the steam mop, the pads, the water flask to fill the reservoir up. And there's the mop head. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this assembled for you guys and get the parts together. So reading the instructions from the box right here just take handle a and insert it in b right there from the top and they'll show you where to screw it in at right there so let's go ahead and get that together take this off so we can get the screw out and put it in on the top of the steam up okay so we got it out we have the screw and then according to this, you have to insert it right in here. See where that's gonna line up with this so you can screw it in. So we go ahead, put it in right here. Go ahead and push that in. Slice right in right there. Make sure that backside is right there. It's lining up with the screw. Go ahead, put that screw in right there. 
get a Phillips screwdriver. So you can go ahead and screw it in, make sure it's nice and tight. Have our Phillips screwdriver right here. Go ahead. I would say do it by hand. If you got a small little drill you can, but you don't want to strip the screw. So just do it by hand and adjust until it's actually tight. Like so. One down. There you go. Tight. Definitely want to give it a test and pick it up. Give it a little shake so you can see it's not coming out. Okay, so the next thing it says to do is to put on the number three. So you definitely want to make sure you put it on right there. Put it on until you hear a click. So right here goes on the bottom of the shark mark. Okay, so we go right here. Line it up, see right there. Line up that square. Put that right there. And do it until you hear the click. Go ahead. All right. It should be like that. The next thing we have to do is just make sure it's secure and put on the cleaning pads. Okay. So you see that you heard that click. You need to make sure when you push it in that it is all the way secure. That's why they said make sure you heard that click, that, that noise you heard. I made sure it was in there really good. Take it to make sure it's not going to come off. But once you hear that click, you should be good. And that's what this button, this is the release button here for as well. So now we all we have to do now is put on the pad. So we have the pad. Just FYI, it does have Velcro here to keep it secure. So you have to open this up and then you slide it under the bottom here. Remember, it's a double sided pad. So there's no right or wrong way to do it but according to the instructions they're showing you the way it should be right there pull it and you can use that little gray handle to help pull it on and make sure that it's secure let's go ahead and secure it on All right, guys, we did get it on. So once you pull it on, you want to definitely push down on these Velcro to make sure it's tight. I might be at that side, but I'm going to wait on this side so you can hear it. There we go. Look up. Make sure that it's on there. There's your handle. We have that side. Again, give it a little pull just to make sure that it's all the way on there. And it's fastened. So we have assembled, unboxed it, and we assembled the Shark Pro Steam up here. All right, here's how the finished product look, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick test run to help review how good to clean the floors. We're gonna test it out on some hardwood floors in my kitchen. I definitely wanna try a steam mop so it can help prevent the streaks from a regular mop or other type of cleaning pass I was using. So stay tuned. We're going to do the review of how the machine works. Okay, so we got the steam mop all plugged up and we did put the water reservoir in there and we filled it up and that's located on the back right here. And you make sure that it's screwed in right here. So once you plug it up, you will definitely see that the blue button is 
blinking to let you know that it's ready. And it gives you two modes, a dust, dust mode and a mop mode. And we're in a kitchen. It says make sure you use on floors that is sealed. This is sealed laminate flooring. Now, if you look in the light, you can see where the dust marks are on the floor right here. So we're gonna try to use the steam mop and see if we can get this cleaned up and get all these uh, footprints and everything you see like right up in there. Look close and see what the before and after effects of the steam mop is. And then we're also gonna try it on some uh, ceramic tile flooring in the bathroom. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this booted up. Get it started and check it out. Okay, so we press the button once and then it's gonna select the modes. Goes to dust mode right there. The dust mode is more like a, if you got a light dust on the floor, it doesn't really give you that much power. Now watch when we hit the mop mode, it gets a little bit more intense. As you can hear it, steam is getting perked up. Now let's try it more, one more time, press the button so it can go to mop. Right there and see how it's more steam is definitely coming out of it. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a whiff. Let's see. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, you see. I'm going a straight line. Right there all those marks and everything. I see a lot of videos where they're using on like uh, tile floor and ceramic floors. I wanted to show you guys this is safe for sealed wood floors. So you don't want the steam water to warp the wood on unfinished flooring. how powerful the steam is so far so good definitely make sure you definitely try to you know sweep the floor a little bit so it's not too many crumbs but once you do that seem like it's working see how the angles you can shift it come around the island trust the old swiffer swiffer the floor before I did this Go around, come out the stove, actually get up under there a little bit. Okay, so, so far so good. And like I said, let's go ahead and say you can flip it over. So, you see how dirty the floor was even though I did just sweep it. And these pads are washable, so now let's See if we can backtrack and see how dirty the floor was going back the other way. And it's a pretty long cord as you can see. Let's backtrack, this is where we were. Use it again, keep it going. Get those angles like it says, so if you need to do a quick turn, of course don't let it hit the paint too long. Don't want the steam to loosen up anything on the paint. And right there, there's more areas to go. So we're going back over the area just one more time but it definitely got it cleaner than what it was if you look at it back in the light 
just see their natural wood of the floor. So far, so good. Um, no complaints. I have two modes if you want a lighter dusting mode. So let me show you guys that. Turn it down one more time. Turns it off. Go back to dust mode. It's not as intense steam. Just a little bit just to get it clean for you. Okay guys, so this is the review of the Shark Pro Steam Mop on laminate wood flooring that's sealed. Now we're going to try it um, on some ceramic tile flooring that's sealed as well just so we can see what the results is um, in the laundry room and maybe the bathroom. Alright, so let's go ahead and shut this off so we can move to there. See you in a few. Okay guys, so we're in the bathroom. Here's the ceramic tile. Um, you can see right here it's sealed. So same thing here is like footprints and other things. You just want to make sure it's steamed, especially around the toilet rim right here. So it's not a big bathroom, but it should make the job a little easier and try to get into these little small spaces like right up in here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. dust mode but we want to get it on mop mode so we hit it one more time as you can see the difference when you put it on mop it's more intense steam go ahead and let it steam up a little bit first give it a few seconds it's not long you can see right off the bat right there Try to keep it in order. Okay. Definitely want to try to get the bathroom clean, but you see the flooring right there doesn't fit. So all you have to do is swivel it. like that. And that's going to get around that toilet area. Kind of wipe the vents down at the same time. You know they collect dust from the furnace. Okay, you see no cracking. Everything seems to be working fine. Again, if the pad is dirty on one side, you can flip it just like I did. So, and they give you uh, two pads in the box that is washable. So, just like that, get over here. And the bathroom is now done. Just that simple. This is a half bath, so, but it, of course, you can still use it on other bathrooms or floors that's similar and then back into the area where we went before for the kitchen so all right so we did the bathroom and then we'll go ahead and go to the laundry room same kind of tile but different color just so you guys can see the difference just in case you want to compare to what you have in your home so we headed to the laundry room Hey guys, so we made it into the laundry room slash mud room here. So as you can see, this is a different type of tile flooring here. Also a different color. We do have our right here, steam up right there going, ready to go hit the mop level. So we'll go ahead and get it turned on to the mop mode. So remember once for dust and two for mop. We let it steam up. There's the flooring, door. See right off the bat as it steam up. And 
we go right over it. Still going. It's also, I don't know if you can hear that noise as it gets low on water. Makes that little. That's how you know it's starting to run low. You look at the reservoir. That means there's no more water in here. So we'll go ahead. We just mop those all those floors. There's very little water left. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some more water in there. Remember, we take this off, unscrew it, and then we load it up. As you can see, there's no more water in here as we shake it. So when you hear that noise, definitely means you need to go water. So we'll pause it and put some more water in here and get it going. Okay guys, so you see we have it filled up. Now we can hear the difference that it doesn't make that noise. So we turn it on again. You hear how quiet it got. Still makes a noise, but it doesn't do as loud as it would if it didn't have any water. So that's one sign right there when you know it's low makes like a humming motor sound a little louder instead of the steam sound like you would hear from an iron okay so we're gonna go ahead and try this again come back right there off the bat you can see that go ahead right in there Definitely heavy duty. Might be a little harder to see the streaks here in the actual floor like you would was able to see it with the hardwood right here. Let's so go right here. And like I say, you can Angle it to go right here. Yeah. So as you can see, it definitely gets tile, ceramic tile, and our wood floor that's already sealed pretty good. So what we'll do walk right here to the laundry room you're gonna safe to go over the grill cover right there actually clean it a little bit from being so dusty from the furnace right here Doesn't look like it's wet, but it's actually wet if you take a quick look at it. You can see the stain. All right, so this is the uh, unboxing and the review of the Pro Start Professional Stain Mop. I'll put some links in the description where you guys can do more research and actually find this product if you're interested. So we'll go ahead and set it down and just let this go dry and we're good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get alerted when different review and unboxing videos drop on the channel. We're just about done with this. And it'll go right here in the washer and then dryer. And then I will use the actual backup cloth right here for my next load while this one wash and dry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the Shark Mop unboxing. Catch you on the next video.